What's going on everybody? Eat all the birds. Back again for another attempt at Dutch oven biscuits. And I tell you what, they've whipped me a couple of times. I've tried a couple different recipes. I haven't been able to get exactly what I'm looking for. So I reached out, you know, some fellow YouTubers, and I got a little bit of help from uh, Atticus9799 or Noreen. And why I didn't start with her from the beginning, I have no idea. But uh, I'm gonna use her, her mix. I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to preheat the Dutch oven, and I tell you what, we are going to get it this time. Stay with me. All right, everybody. As always, I'm going to make this short and sweet. All right, in the bowl, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to add six tablespoons of cold butter and one cup of cold buttermilk. So I've already got all the dry all mixed together. I whisked them together. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to take the butter. It's nice and cold. I chop it up into little pieces. I get my hands in there. Make sure all the little pieces of butter are coated. And I'm going to start to warm them up just barely. Alright, the next thing you do, if you go to the store and you buy an expensive pastry cutter or use a fork. Alright. Kind of squish that butter down a little bit. Now anybody who saw my last biscuit recipe, I did take that down because I don't want anybody to uh, see it and try it because I think we can do better. Got a little help from my friends. Put a little extra effort into it. We'll see what happens. All right, that's starting to do its thing. Want a couple of chunks of butter in there, you know, pea-sized or, or so, but most of it smaller to make this look like kind of a meal, like a rough, like cornmeal type thing. Now again, everybody who left me a, a comment, almost all of them were useful. Of course, there's always, <laughs> there's always a couple in there that aren't gonna be, but a lot of smart people out there, a lot of people who know what they're doing, and I appreciate it. Now I am doing this outside, so the only thing I'm gonna add to Noreen's recipe is some mesquite leaves and maybe a couple of ants. If that turns out, maybe she'll adjust her recipe, you never know. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, a little dent in the middle. One cup of buttermilk. Now, Chef Morgan's not here with me today. I tried this the other night, and she couldn't resist trying the buttermilk. I wish I would have got that on film. It was hilarious. If anybody hasn't tried buttermilk straight from the container before, I highly recommend you go out and do it, and you film your face when you do it. All right, I've got to remember not to mess with this too much. So you saw how fast that came together. I'm gonna push it into a lump. A little flour on my board. In with the ants and the mesquite leaves. Out she comes. All right. Push her down. Flip it over. Flip it over. One more time. I'm not going to do any more than that. Bean can. You know what? I am using the 10 inch uh, Lodge Dutch oven. I'm not quite going to fill it up. All right, I was also told, here's another nice tip, that you push the cutter down. If you twist it, the biscuit police will come and haul you away. So 
straight down. That's it. Push the rest together as little as I can. Looks like we're going to end up with six. Six and then a weird one. You know what? I wonder if I can. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let me adjust the camera and I'll throw them in the duchy. Be right back. All right, everybody, the Dutch oven's at about 375 degrees. I've already greased it. And I'm gonna pack them in tight. All right, 12 to 15 minutes is what I hear. I'm gonna check it in six to eight, give it a spin, and uh, I'll be back. Stay with me. All right, it's been about eight minutes, time for the spin. I'm not gonna peek. All right. Flip those that way. Oven goes that way, all there is to it. Back in about five or six more minutes, we'll open it up. Keep your fingers crossed, see what happens. All right, everybody, I can smell them. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh, heck yeah. All right, top's so good, I wonder what the bottoms are doing. They are fluffy and awesome. This is exciting. Such a simple thing, but I tell you what, it has really gotten the best of me. Let me move you over to my uh, countertop and show you what they look like. All right, everybody, that's that's what I'm talking about. The third or maybe even fourth attempt. They puffed up. They're nice and light. All right, it tastes like butter. Incredible. All right. For those of you who have stuck with me through this, I appreciate it very much. Uh, a little extra hard work and some advice from some uh, people who know what they're doing and away you go. So everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.